What's up everybody, it's your boy Siona. I'm a rapper and singer from Sweden and today we are about to do story time. So yeah, this is my first time actually doing a story time on YouTube, but what I'm gonna tell you about is, you know, something that actually happened to me, you know, a story that happened in my life. And the things that I'm about to tell you, none of it is about garnering sympathy or starting a revolution or anything like that. I'm just giving you a little bit of story, you feel me? Because the things I've been through, a lot of people have been through them, and probably, and most likely, and certainly, <laughs> a lot of other people have been through a lot worse. But I'm just give you a little bit today and let me know if you want some more story time and I'll do it okay but before we continue with this video I would like for you to like this video and subscribe to my channel so we can grow a little more okay let's go so I remember when I was like 12 years old right I was my friend called me and he told me nah he didn't call me I was 12 he came to my house and he knocked on the door and he was like, yo, is Chris home? Because that's my, that's my name, you know what I'm saying? Siona Christopher. Anyways, he said, is Chris home? I'm like, yeah. Can he come up to play? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we went out. And then we actually went to my school week, the school work. And uh, we were chilling, you know, me and my friend. We met up with some other friends. We were just having fun, listening to music, chilling. You know, it was summer. You feel me? Summertime, everybody's having fun. Everybody's chilling. Everybody, everybody's good, you know? That's what it was all about. It's actually that. And you know, we sitting, we chilling, we talking, playing some games, listening to some music, eating some candy. And come to find out, you know, we spot three dudes about, I don't know, maybe 20 feet away from us. And they pick up huge freaking sticks and smash the window to the classrooms, okay? They smash windows like crazy. They go in crazy. They're like, mm, boom, 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 boom. Smashing the window, right? And we get stunned. We like, okay, so what are they doing? Okay, we didn't get that stunned because things like that usually happens a lot where I grew up. But anyways, so they they smashing the windows, right? And we chilling. We like, yo, nobody called the police. I, I know some some of y'all might start killing me in the comments. Yo, why didn't y'all call the police? Why did you blah 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 blah? Let me just tell you, like when I was little, where I grew up, nobody had a good relationship with the police. Okay, I was never a criminal, but my first instinct was never, yo, I'm gonna call the cops. Might be it's weird, I know, but that was never my first instinct. Anyone I know, at least not anyone close to me, who had who whose first instinct is to call the police when they in trouble. Anyways, so um, after they smashed the windows, we still chilling, and we see the police roll up. You know, we had a see the blue and red lights, and then. We like, yeah, okay, so the police are coming in to check on what happened, right? And I'm sitting I'm sitting next to my friend and my other friend, okay? So I'm a black kid, and the uh, person next to me is light-skinned, you know, and mixed. And the person next to him is Middle Eastern, and you know? And there's a, other, a bunch of other kids there as well. So, of course, they take the three of us. They, they stand us up, put us up against the wall, okay? We were 12. No, not even 12. We were 11 years old. At least I was, okay? And then, <laughs> you know, they ask us for our name and our information and I'm like why uh, do you need our information like ain't you gonna run after the people who actually did this and they said well we got witnesses placing you at this place we got witnesses seeing you commit these crimes and it dawned on me and I was like wait a minute wait a minute I told the cops I was like yo the people who did this were like five years older than us they look like giants to us you know when you're 11 or 12 years old people that are like 16 17 years old they look like giants okay so in my eyes they were like giant. I might not think that right now, but then they look huge, okay? They look like huge dudes, and they were all white. I'm no racist, you know, my bae, wife, my wife is white, okay? But still, the three dudes that did this, they were white. And the cop, and they were taller than us, bigger than us. They cop, but the cops picked up, okay? Three 11 year old, a black one, another black one who's light skinned, and a Middle Eastern dude. I'm like, what? What witness confused? us with them we're like 50 shades darker than them all of us together even the dude that was middle eastern is a whole lot darker than all of them put together anyways so uh cops are taking our information our name and everything but as soon as i say my name he asked me he was like what's your name I'm like siona chris and he was like your last name, your last name? And then i said my last name and he was like yo I promise you if you run i will chase you what 
What? I'm like, what are you talking about? Why would I run? I didn't do nothing. But at the same time, not to be like that. But you know, where I grew up, I'm not saying I was living in living in the ghetto or nothing like that. That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is, you know, bad things happen sometimes. And I was taught that if you see everybody run, if you see everybody running, bro, run. Because it doesn't matter if you did it or didn't do it. They might just blame you. Feel me? I'm, 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 we gonna get into that in a minute, okay? Anyway, so the cop told me that if I ran, he would chase me and he would catch me. So they lined us up against the wall and we had to stand there for, I don't know how long in my mind, it probably felt like an eternity, but it probably wasn't that long. But it was the first time police officer had stood me up against the wall, and I was 11 years old. And like, let me tell you, it didn't feel good. Like already, man, already when I was like six, seven years old, I already then saw a lot of the things that the cops did. You know, I'm not saying that all police are bad. Definitely not. That's not what I'm saying. They're here to protect and serve no matter what country they're in. I'm in Sweden, by the way. But, you know, I've always felt that I've been, you know, singled out, depending on what company I'm in, you know? Let's move on a little further ahead, okay? So let's say a couple months later, I'm out walking with my friend. We are on our way into town. We're going to the mall and we are walking. It is hot out. It is really hot, middle of the sun, okay? We're walking, black dude, white dude. He's like Albanian, half Albanian and half sweet, right? So we walk, we chilling, we talking, we listening to music, we rapping a little bit, we having fun. And then a cop, cop car just did a U-turn in front of us. And we were like, yo, what in the hell just happened? Is this a movie or what? Like, it felt like it was a movie for me. It felt like a damn movie. <laughs> I don't think you even want to know what the cops said when they hopped out of the car. Two cops. Imagine this scenario, okay? Two 12-year-olds. I was 12 now at this point in time. I was 12 now, okay? Two 12-year-old kids. They are out walking on the way to the mall. Cops, they swerve up on us. Pew, pew. Weep, weep, weep. Okay? They come up and they're like, where were you five minutes ago? Um, on our way to the mall. And they're like, where were you? Were you a mile from here? Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm, and I'm like, please, can you explain what's going on? Because I do not know what y'all want. Come to find out, they said, there's been a robbery a mile from here, okay? If I ran a mile in five minutes, best believe I would be drenched in sweat. Where my Tim's. Okay, I was wearing Timberland. Okay, I, I had my shorts on, but I was wearing Tim's, my hat, everything, my chains. Okay, if I, anyways, they let us go because they realized how dumb they were. Anyways, this was just a story time, a short story time. Okay, let me know if you want to hear more stories because trust me, I got a lot of crazy stories to tell y'all. If you want to know, let me know in the comments and please don't forget to like and subscribe and please go into my description and check out my links because I got some fresh music that y'all can listen to. Okay, I, I'm a rapper and a singer and I got a new song out right now. Please go into my description and check it out and listen to it, stream it, show us some love. And I'll see you next time. Peace.